Somebody told me that when we gave them a laptop, they really liked whiteboard for a couple of weeks. And what put them off it was the fact they accidentally was touching a button that's built into the stylus that's set to delete. And they're accidentally pressing that and it was overwriting some of the things they were trying to write. And it put them off the whole piece of software. Now, I can see why that would happen and why that would be so frustrating, but it's also incredibly easy to fix. So the way to fix it is you click on the start menu and you search for pen settings. So for me, I'm on a Lenovo. It might be that if you've got a button on your stylus and you're on a different manufactured laptop, you need to search for something similar. But if you've got buttons, I'm not aware of any stylus out there where the buttons aren't programmable. So if you search for Lenovo pen settings, and when you open it, it's really straightforward to change, but you've actually got quite a lot of options. So you can see for me, I've got both of them disabled. So this is what the buttons look like. Most people don't even realize they're there, but you've got two buttons on your stylus that you can use to do different things. I know some people really like having one of these buttons set to delete. So instead of clicking on the eraser tool, you can just click on this button, hold it, and it will turn your pen into an eraser until you let go. Yep, brilliant. Some people like it. I personally prefer it to just click when I need it. So I've got both of mine disabled. And if you're unsure what to do, just disable them because then you've got no confusion. It's just a pen. I've still got hover click on. What that means is if I press this top barrel button when I'm hovering over something, and I click it, it, it works like a mouse click. So I can use my pen like a mouse by moving it around, but I've got to be hover, hovered over it at the time I press that, otherwise it won't work. So I've still got that on, but you can see in these drop down options, you can pick whatever you want. There are a huge amount of them that are unrelated to drawing. So you've got things like changing volume, um, previous track, next track, that sort of thing, mute. Now, I can't see why that you'd want them on a pen, but I might be missing something. Towards the top of the most common ones, so erase, that's the one that was obviously frustrating this other person. So you can turn that off. You've got things like open run. I know somebody that makes a lot of tutorial videos, they've got it to run the program they use to record the screen. So they pull their pen out, press this button. So for example, you could have it. So you pull the pen out, you press this open button and it automatically opens Microsoft whiteboard. That could be a really good use of one of these buttons and it might make you more efficient. I'm actually starting to think I might like that. But you can set these buttons to either do something that's useful to you or you just disable them. And just changing this drop down is as simple as it gets.